It's no joke. Retro Beats is back.
Monster World 4 for the Genesis. You might have played that recently on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. The Monster World Collection just came out. And uh, that game never actually came out in America uh, proper. So if you wanted to play that, as well as a couple other cool uh, Wonder Boy games, uh, check out the collection for, uh, I believe it is for Xbox and for the PlayStation 3. For that Bucky O'Hare, that is uh, from the Cell level. Oh, and I should also mention that that Monster World 4 song is called Heart of the Ice Cave. Uh, before that, Bucky O'Hare, Cell, that game uh, does not hold up as well as I thought it did. Uh, I know I mentioned in a video a while ago that, oh, I'll do a review for Bucky O'Hare. I sat down and really played that game proper and like, whoa, does not hold up. Castlevania Adventure, that song uh, for the Game Boy, it's called Death Fair, aka the third level theme. Before that, a track from Kirby's Block Ball. Uh, Kirby had a lot of games for the Game Boy, and apparently they all have really good music. Um, and then also for the Game Boy, Kid Icarus, that's the dungeon theme, which is just a retelling or a remake of the NES uh, song, but in Game Boy form. And kicking us off was Power Quest, a Game Boy game I never heard of, and a friend of mine introduced me to it, and that soundtrack from top to tail is rad. We'll probably hear uh, more Power Quest, for the Game Boy that is, uh, more Power Quest in future episodes of Retro Beats. That song was called This House. It is one of the songs you hear in one of the many cutscenes. And uh, yes, this is uh, well, the, one of the first episodes of Retro Beats in about a year. Uh, don't fret, I have another one in the works. Chances are by the time you hear this, there will be another episode up. It's going to be a modern episode. Uh, those episodes do not require as much EQing and as much uh, engineering and touch up. Uh, so those video, those uh, uh, episodes rather, are a little easier to uh, produce. So I'll have a modern beats. Uh, hopefully, by the time you are listening to this, it should be in the works and ready to go. Um, this is being released on April first, and this is my April Fool's Day joke because it's not a joke. I know a lot of people uh, wanted some more retro beats, and I'm sorry that I haven't had them in a while. But we're back. I'm doing it. Uh, I'll hopefully, be more consistent. But I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna mess myself up here. I'm not gonna jinx myself. And tell you how often I'm going to release these because I can't seem to stick to a schedule. But well, don't worry about that. What's important is right now, uh, this is episode 9 of Retro Beats. This is no nostalgia required here. I'm not playing the hits. I'm not going to be playing tons of Chrono Trigger and Legend of Zelda. This is for video game music appreciation. Do you really like this stuff? We're going uh, obscure. We're not trying to do tug at your heartstrings, trying to get your nostalgia, uh, your nostalgia gauge raging. No, this is just to appreciate... Uh, chiptune style music, old school video game stuff. So uh, let's do that. I got some legendary wings and zexies and a uh, whole bunch more music. And then I got some Genesis and Super Nintendo a little later, but we're going to stick to those square bits, those uh, square waves rather, the 8 bit stuff. The legendary wings, zexies, some Guardian Legend, Crystalis. I got some Pokemon? What? Yeah, stick around. It's Retro Beats. <laughs>
background here, we got Bandai shooting range for the NES. Shoutouts to Eric Lappy. His video for Zapper Games got me hip to this uh, game and this awesome soundtrack. We just heard, though, Kid Dracula for the Game Boy, the final level. I know that is a song that I have played on old episodes, but that is one of my all-time favorites. An amazing track. Had to do it again. Before that, a little game might have heard called Pokemon? Poker Man. Yeah. Poker Man for the Game Boy. Uh, Viridian Forest from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Before that, Crystal is for the NES, Inner Mountains. That is the only action RPG that uh, SNK ever made, and they found success with fighting games. I wonder if they had ever found success with RPGs, if we'd be living in a different world. Before that, one of the greats, Guardian Legend for the Nintendo. Uh, that was Overworld 2, I'll say. I don't know what the actual title of that song is, but in the Overworld section, that is the second song you hear when you go to the new area uh, to the west. Zexies, uh, that's the second flying stage song, and that's a Nintendo game spelt Z, sorry, X-E-X-Y-Z. I've always pronounced it Zexies. I have no idea how you're supposed to actually pronounce it. And uh, Legendary Wings by Capcom from the NES. That's the uh, bonus lucky stage. We're going to keep it going with uh, some Genesis music. Uh, Streets of Rage 2. A lot of great, great tracks off of this one. Uh, I'm going to choose a track here called Alien Power because it has this really interesting, cool uh, like bass line to it. Kind of wobbly and maybe a little dubstepy, but that's not why I chose it. Uh, and I got some more, a lot of Genesis music, and then moved to Super Nintendo, and uh, here's the halfway point, folks. I'm gonna keep it going. Straight to Rage 2, the song's called Alien Power. <laughs> Thank you. 
to get a little bit of Earthbound in every episode. Battle against an unsettling opponent is what this song is called from Earthbound. It's a pretty good game, and I really like it. Not sure if you ever knew that. Uh, we just heard Super Adventure Island 2, uh, Hia Hia Island, or just the ice stage. Um, if you want to check out and know more about uh, Super Adventure Island 2, 16-Bit Gems did an excellent episode, and it's definitely a game you should check out. Before that, Lagoon, uh, the castle of Mark Phillips, and that is a pretty good action RPG. If you want to learn more about that, I did a video, but go watch Rue's video in, is for, for Super Adventure Island 2 instead. Uh, Mega Turrican, that is the secret level. I never quite figured out how to get to the secret level in Mega Turrican. Um, I think it involved going to like the sound test and playing that song and then when you go to the elevator at the end of stage 1-1 one, one, It would take you to this stage instead I always stumbled upon it accidentally and never have bothered to look it up to see how you're supposed to get to that stage Before that sword of vermilion for the Genesis uh, That is the last city you go to and uh, man that game is really Good, but super old really old RPGs and just those old RPGs folks just don't age very well But there's certainly a charm to a uh, sort of a million. I played it a lot on the uh, PlayStation 2 Sega Genesis collection, which was nice because you could pause and save anywhere because that game was brutal when you go to a You know a big hard long-ass dungeon and then you would die right at the end it would then you would lose all this progress Certainly that is nice before that rocket night adventures that is stage 5-2 uh, that song is actually split in half and uh, appears in two different stages, two different parts of stage five. And kicking us off, Streets of Rage 2. We're gonna keep it going. This is the last stretch here, folks. Uh, I got Adam's Family, Pugley's, Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt, which is actually, this song is a remake from uh, one song in the Nintendo version of the Adam's Family. It's called the Icebox when you go inside the refrigerator. And I, I, this is really special to me because it's a really good remake of this song. Uh, the Nintendo version of The Addams Family is one of my all-time hated games. It was one of those games that uh, I bought, and it was terrible, but since I bought it, I just I had to keep playing it, and it was so bad. Uh, the other Addams Family games are pretty good, but when, when James uh, did the Angry Video Game Nerd episode for uh, Fester's Quest, I believe, and then he did a couple other Addams Family games, I was kind of upset he didn't actually do the Addams Family game that I grew up hating, uh, but whatever. Uh, after that, I have uh, Fax Anadu, and that's how I pronounce it. Uh, that's for the NES, uh, the Tree of Life. After that, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge. Uh, that's the sneaking round music. Um, and that's the NES sequel to Metal Gear that, uh, you know, when you look past the fact that, like, Kojima had nothing to do with it, it's, a, it's an alright action game. It has some weird 2D stealthy stuff that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have Kirby's Adventure, which is probably personally my favorite Kirby game. And then because uh, of the announcement that DuckTales is getting remade, I'm going to close out the show with one of the great melodies ever written, the moon level from DuckTales for the NES, some classic stuff. Uh, I, again, I apologize for how long it has been since uh, the last episode, but I assure you I have a new one in the works right now. Um, I'm probably going to record that after I'm done with this, and you'll be up very shortly after this. Uh, and hopefully new episodes will be coming. Check me out. This is stuff is going to be all on the Retro Beats Tumblr, uh, which still does exist, uh, and it will be updated more often, hopefully. Um, and I believe that will be a better venue. I'll open up the Tumblr, and Tumblr asks, and you can ask a question on the Tumblr, which will be a great, a great place for requests. Um, keep me up uh, on my Twitter and my uh, Facebook for Happy Video Game Nerd. Uh, if you want to know more news about Retro Beats, but hopefully it does have more new episodes. And yeah, and I won't be like a year in between episodes. Hopefully. I hope. I hope. Anyway, here's Adam's Family, Pugsley's, Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt for the Super Nintendo. Sounds called Icebox. My name is Derek Alexander. Thank you for listening and enjoy these last few tracks. Mm -hmm. 